so what i understand is only when there is a historic ugly carnage like the holocaust or what happened in rwanda then you can have a limit on freedom of speech and people say yes it is legitimate because this led to this but until that happens anything goes are we teetering on an edge because after i saw the history of how the rwandan genocide actually came it was preceded by 3 years of lynchings and endorsement by political commentators and endorsement by the media and then it reached the stage where the carnage happened and after that it after it happened everyone said okay freedom of speech has its limits do we have to cross that path or being having the position that you have do we need to consider a minority report kind of situation that this could happen so let's draw the line here so freedom of speech is guaranteed in the constitution and the constitution is the geeta of today it is guaranteed as a fundamental right in the constitution subject to reasonable restrictions only in specifically stated conditions now i have a midpoint on this as far as what are the limitations to freedom of speech and i don't believe that we as a polity and a society need to be blindly imitative of any other nation without taking into account the context that prevails in our own country for instance you can stamp on the american flag in the united states and you will be protected by the freedom of speech i believe that respect to the indian flag cannot be compromised but i don't believe that if the national anthem is something we respect before any film starts in a cinema hall we must compulsorily play the national anthem it's a nuanced approach uh i believe that singing vande matram is a matter of pride for me but i understand why because of the nature of that iconic piece of poetry the first paragraph the first stanza of it is secular it's a tribute to the motherland while the remaining stanzas are about hindu goddesses which someone not belonging to the hindu faith may have a problem in endorsing or singing and therefore it is the national song limited to the first stanza i believe we have to nuance our position on freedom of speech in some respects without compromising the essential substantive kernel of it which is that democracy must allow the widest level of dissent and freedom of speech cannot become an instrument or a means of stifling that right to dissent in other words if i disagree with you and i am willing to be eloquent and vocal about it i do not want you to tell me that i am transgressing laws which you have invented under the rubric of sedition to tell me that i am being anti national today there is a hidden reflex somewhere in the minds of some people that if you don't agree with me and if may i if i may add if you don't agree with me fully then you are not national enough it's almost as if people are roaming around with a syringe in their hand to take a sample of your blood to see how much nationalism is there in it and i am against that because i don't believe that i need to prove it to someone i don't believe that if i disagree with you i am deficient in it i believe that nationalism is a noble sentiment i believe that i can fulfill that sentiment in my own way without an imposed uniformity in thinking writing speaking 
and i think that is the spirit of india 